Wisconsin Governor Tony Evers made the correct decision to delay their state's Democratic primaries because in-person voting is not something that should be practiced at a time when self-quarantine and social distancing are of the utmost importance if we actually want to overcome this global pandemic. Except after he made that announcement, guess what happened? Republicans decided to effectively veto that move because the courts weighed in and they said, actually, we think voters should risk their lives to exercise their right to democracy. Because as Alex Seitzwald of NBC News reports, Wisconsin's controversial election is back on for Tuesday and voters will get no extension on the deadline to return absentee ballots despite the coronavirus crisis thanks to two top courts that sided with Republicans on Monday. Wisconsin Governor Tony Evers, a Democrat, issued an executive order Monday afternoon postponing the election to June 9th citing the public health risk, but the Wisconsin Supreme Court hours later overturned the governor, siding with the Republican-controlled legislature that had appealed his order. Later in the day, the U.S. Supreme Court ruled in favor of Wisconsin Republicans on a separate issue, voting 5-4 to four along ideological lines to overturn a lower federal court's decision to extend the deadline for absentee balloting. Election officials have faced an unprecedented crush of requests for absentee ballot from voters looking to avoid the polls during the pandemic, so a federal judge Thursday granted voters and officials an extra week to cast ballots and have them counted. But the U.S. Supreme Court rejected that extension, meaning that the absentee ballots received after 8 p.m. Tuesday will no longer be accepted. The four dissenting justices, all on the court's liberal wing, said the decision will result in the massive disenfranchisement of tens of thousands of voters who did not show up in person because of the spread of the coronavirus, but could not cast their absentee ballots in time. So this is absolutely reckless, it's irresponsible, but it's not surprising. Republicans have basically showed their cards. They don't care if people get sick. They don't care if people die. These people are peasants. Their lives don't matter to Republicans. So, you know, after putting pressure on the Democratic governor, he finally listened to people. He took the advice of the health professionals, decided to postpone this primary, and Republicans decided to step in and say, you know what, we think voters should risk their lives. Now, let me remind you what happened the last time when the Democratic Party irresponsibly went on with primaries. In fact, the Republican governor of Florida, Ron DeSantis, decided to allow voting to continue. This is what happened after March 17th when people voted on Super Tuesday 3. Broward County poll workers in Florida tested positive for COVID-19. So acknowledge what this is going to to cause. This is going to cause sickness and death and suffering. Why? Because uh, these justices don't give a damn about people. Their lives are completely disposable. Now, you can blame Tony Evers to an extent because he should have acted sooner, but at the end of the day, the buck stops with the highest court. They won't even allow for an extension of absentee ballots. That tells you a lot about just how broken our system is. This is not democracy. This is voter suppression in its highest form. Because if you're telling people they have the right to vote, but they have to risk their lives to vote, that's not democracy. That is not democracy. In authoritarian regimes, when people are intimidated into voting, we don't call that democracy. So we can't call that democracy in this instance when it happens at home. You should never have to choose between your health and safety and exercising your right to vote. You can extend the deadline for absentee ballots. You can uh, institute vote by mail. They're choosing to not do that because uh, they don't care about people. They don't care that people are going to die because of this. These are Republicans, so if Democratic Party voters die, that doesn't hurt them at all. In fact, they probably think that that's good. They don't care if people die. Human life means nothing to them. Human life is completely disposable. The number one thing that matters to them is capital, is making money, is protecting the profits of large multinational corporations, which is why we saw the Tories in Great Britain talk about herd immunity, which is why Donald Trump for a while was contemplating just sending everyone back to work and, you know, opening up everything again. Now, thankfully, the experts got to him and chose, you know, got him to not do that. So he chose otherwise. But I mean, Republicans don't care about people. 
this shouldn't surprise anyone. They are a death cult at this point. And I need people to acknowledge how serious this is. We don't live in a real democracy. I don't think you could really argue that we lived in an adequate democracy because, you know, we don't really have that much say over policy outcomes. We barely get to choose, you know, um, who wins because we have the media doing nonstop propaganda at the behest of their corporate advertisers. So this is just another nail in the coffin of democracy. And it's really sad. This is serious. So I don't even know what to say in this situation. People are still going to risk their lives to come out and vote. And some people are going to get sick and possibly die because of this. And Republicans just don't care. Now, to be fair, Democrats don't really care as well. Tom Perez is trying to dissuade states from postponing their primaries, right? In that last uh, Super Tuesday 3, we saw Joe Biden telling people to come out and vote. It was incredibly irresponsible. So at the end of the day, we have to acknowledge that if we are not allowed to exercise our right to vote free from intimidation, free from threats to our lives, that is not democracy. So whatever happens during this primary... The results are automatically invalid. They should be labeled invalid because if thousands upon thousands of people don't feel comfortable voting, then you can't say that a legitimate democracy is taking place because that's that's not happening. So this is morally reprehensible and the blood is on the hands of everyone who greenlit this decision, although saying that is really meaningless because the people who are forcing these people to vote... They don't give a damn if they die. They literally don't care. They could not care any less.